I really like the pitchfork in this mod. It's essentially just a spear, but I don't know. It just has a... It feels very appropriate for sticking it down zombie throats, you know? Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully make our mini bike and move up in the world. I'm excited. Hopefully, that'll work. Um, got a few comments, first of all, to uh, respond to. So, let's see. Uh, Terry Land reminded me that I have uh, nerdy glasses, uh, which I'm actually wearing right at the moment, uh, which gives me an extra effective point in intellect. And so, yeah, that gets us uh, to five, effectively, even though we actually only have four. And um, so thank you for that reminder. Uh, we needed four to get to Mini Mike Master, so I guess I could have held off on that last point. But, you know, it's, uh, we've already done it, so uh, we'll just have to use it in the future. But, yeah, very, very good reminder there. Um, let's see. Jeremy Bond, um, told me that if I go into the options menu to the video menu and click Ravenhurst that I could show the zombie health bar, which I have turned on. Now I actually did this, uh, and did not reboot the game. Um, so I don't know if it's going to work in this episode, but if it doesn't, then it should work in the next episode. I don't want to reboot the game guys. Cause it takes, it takes like freaking um, at least five minutes for, for this mod to start on my computer, it just takes so damn long, and I, I don't want to wait uh, that long uh, to restart. So maybe it'll work. If it doesn't, then it should work the next time around. So appreciate that tip. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, someone commented saying that they didn't like the chipmunk voice. Um, they basically said it was okay for a little while, but that I had it on for too long. Um, I appreciate that, that kind of feedback. Um, I've been doing the chipmunk voice off and on for over two years and this is the first time anybody's ever commented on it um so you know it, and unless i don't hear back from you guys and i don't know um i don't do the chipmunk voice to be funny so much as i do it because sometimes um you know i've got the video becomes too long so i either have three options i split it up into two parts which i try not to do even though i did end up doing that to you guys a couple you know episodes ago um, or I have to cut a bunch of stuff out and, and, you know, that's usually what I will do, but sometimes, um, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to cut a lot of stuff out, particularly like, you know, if we're in a new area and that sort of thing, which we were, uh, you know, in that, in the video where I did the chipmunk voice. So the next option is to speed the video up, you know, to reduce the time, but still show all the content. So, um, I'll keep that in mind. I would very much appreciate it hearing from, uh, other people too on that, you know, on that particular issue. Do you like the chipmunk voice? Do you not like it at all? Do you not care one way or the other? Uh, let me know, uh, cause that will help me, you know, make future decisions on, you know, uh, on how to use that. Uh, okay. But again, I do appreciate the comment uh, for sure for uh, hearing that. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? Uh, Richard told me I can make sticks and wood planks more effect, uh, more efficiently in the table saw. So we can check that out. Um, Terry Lynn said uh, that we can come. Oh yeah. That we can combine tools in the, in the workbench, not the personal workbench, but the normal workbench to repair them. So that's good to know. We'll try that too. And, um, and she said you can upgrade wooden blocks to cobblestone, but I think we've always been able to do that even in vanilla. So you can upgrade the wooden blocks to cobblestone. Oh, I see what, okay, I see what you're saying. So make a wooden block and then upgrade to cobblestone rather than making the cobblestone from the get-go. That's actually not a bad idea. Plus, we'd get a little more XP doing it that way, too. Okay, cool. So, I uh, appreciate everybody's comments. Keep them coming. Thank you very much. I uh, I read and try to respond to everyone's comments, even sometimes if it's just harding the comment. Um, and I do appreciate it. So, thanks a lot, you guys. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get going with today's episode. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is that I found some beer in the last episode. And so, let's uh, let's do the um, uh, this thing here. So, what we have to do is we have to go to... Um, and don't forget the contest, okay? You guys have to guess how many times you think I'm going to hit the I key in, in the episode. Actually, that's not going to work because... <laughs> You'll already know by the time the episode's done. What the hell am I talking about? Never mind. That might be a fun thing to do, though, in a live stream sometime. Um, but yeah, never mind. Forget I even said that. I didn't say nothing. You guys thought I said something. I didn't say anything. Okay. 
Uh, catch more insects. Anyway, let's get back to this. So let's make this the active quest here. And I got to turn something up here just a little bit. Okay. Uh, so what we have, you know, I've been waiting for beer and we finally found some beer. Uh, so what we have to do, though, is we have to fill this trap uh, with insects. Um, and the way that we have to do that is that we have to take the beer and we have to go to recipes and we have to create the insect trap refill, which requires 10x insects in the beer itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's go over uh, to here and I'm going to grab this cheap ass bone knife and use that to to get the insects because it, because it's faster to use the bone knife than it is to use my fists uh, to harvest the grass. Uh, so let's just hit some grass here really quick and there's a zombo over there so I have to be careful and get 10 insects and then we'll make that refill and get another uh, another leg in the quests done here. Okay, so we've got enough insects now. And um, so now what we do is we go to beer, recipes, um, insect trap refill, do... Oh, we have to do that in the personal craft station. Okay, so let's go back up to the personal craft station. See, guys, I'm getting better. I'm actually RTFMing and figuring this stuff out. I'm an old guy. It's hard to teach old guy new tricks, but sometimes you actually can. Sometimes. All right, let's go here. And um, now we can craft this. Got 99 nails made up, too. That's nice. Can't remember what I was making those for, but I'm sure we need them for something. Okay, so now we've got the insect trap refill. And I think what we have to do is put this right here. And then I think we, do we right click it on here? Oh yeah, okay. So now it says that it's, that sounded like I tried to start the auger. Weird. Okay, now it says it's catching insects. Okay, cool. So apparently we did that and this also shows that there's, I guess there's four more charges on this, right? Because it shows four. Um, this refill, refill can be used to fill your insect track up to catch more insects. It can be reused. Okay, cool. So it looks like it actually has four charges on it. I didn't pay close attention, but I imagine there was a five on there before I, I filled that. So, all right, we'll keep that in there, and then uh, we'll reuse it four more times, apparently, which is very cool. I like it. We now have uh, we have 15 grilled fish and we have 10 red tea, so we're doing fine on food and uh, and beverage for this episode. I, I don't need to. Let's just eat these berries right now. Actually, though, you know what? Wasn't there like the nut thing? Yeah, I should be hanging on to all of this stuff so I can make the make the nuts. Uh, we don't need to eat them straight up anymore because we're doing fine now on food and water. In fact, I have six more grilled fish in here. So yeah, let's just hang on to that kind of thing, and then you know, when we have once we have all the ingredients, we can actually make the the trail mix stuff. So, name of the game today, ladies and gentlemen, is mini bike. That is what we're going to do today. So let's hit the I key as usual, not IKEA, but the I key. Kind of sounded like IKEA, didn't it? Because I said it really fast. Let's put these resources in here. Uh, we'll put the crappy bone knife back in here for now, I guess. And um, we need some repair kits to repair this. Let's um, let's try the, uh, the combined repair thing. I just want to do it so that way we can say that we did. I don't think we can do it with these two because they're under 100, but be because those will wear out so quickly, um, I should hang on to them. What, are, what is this? Oh, primitive repair kit. Yeah, let's go try these out on the on the workbench. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we need to also assess what we need for the mini bike. So let's take a pause here for just a second. I almost hit the I key, but I hit the tab key instead. So you guys should be proud of me for that. All right. So let's look at the main stuff. So we need an engine and a lead car battery. 
we have an engine and we have a lead car battery. I don't think the quality matters. And what I'm going to do is put this stuff down here. Uh, we needed, I think we need the wheels to, oh, I hit the I key. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Uh, we need wheels. Okay, so this requires tire rims, which we have two of, oil, coal, acid, and 32 rubber strips. I believe we have most of that stuff already. So we have acid. Um, we have, oh, we only have five rubber strips. Okay. I'm guessing that I got those from harvesting tires, I think. So we'll have to, uh, uh we'll have to look at, okay, what else did we need? Uh, oh, oil. We need, we're, we're going to need a total of four oil and a total of 20 coal. So, okay. So let's do four oil. Uh, we'll split those again. There. Beautiful. Okay. So we have everything for the tires. Except for the rubber strips. So we're going to have to go figure out how to get those. I think we just have to take tires apart, I'm guessing. Uh, but let's put all that stuff in there. What do we need for the chassis and the handlebars? So let's look at the chassis first. All right, we need 10 iron, 4 mechanicals, 4 duct, 4 leather, and 1 electrical. We got it all. Okay, so that we can take directly down to the workbench and get get that cooking up right now. Um, craft in, in the workbench. Yeah, that's how it is in Velo. Okay, now let's take a look and see where we're at with the handlebars. So we need four more mechanical, two spring, a headlight, two electrical, and three wires. Yeah, three wires. Okay, so we also now have everything that we need for the handlebars. Okay, so let's go down to the workbench. Let's get the handlebars and the chassis going, and then we're going to go out and see if we can farm up some uh, more rubber. We need a total of 32 strips. I think I only had, was it four or six? Oh, five. Okay, so we need a total of 32, so that means we need to find another 27. Man, I am so excited, you guys, to get a mini bike. It's going to be a huge game changer. It always is in Seven Days to Die, but how much more in Ravenhurst? You know what I'm saying? Then we can actually go do some exploring, maybe hit some other towns and, um, you know, find a hammer somewhere. Okay, so let's do the combined thing. F oh, okay, yeah, it says combine right here. Duh. Right in front of my face. Okay, so if we combine these two, it reduces this down to purple level, but um, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay, cool. Uh, well, that can we combine less than 100? Oh, we can. It just comes out like shit. Okay. <laughs> just comes out like crap. Okay, that's good. All right, now, let's make the mini bike. Uh, uh, we'll make the chassis. And we'll make the handlebars. Oh, what am I missing? Hey, wait a second. It shows I have everything here, but it still says... You don't have the necessary resources to craft this. Oh, yeah. Darlene? What are you doing? Oh, shit. You're coming this way. That's what you're doing. She can't come through the gap over there. Yeah, you get caught right there. That's a good idea. Oh, so we, are, we do see the damage. Okay, good. So we didn't have to restart for that. That's useful. Big thanks to, I think it was Jeremy, right, that told me about that. Super useful. Darlene, you're so stupid. You could just walk around there and... Oh, now she's getting a little smarter, but she's dead now anyway. Okay. We have four mechanical... Po oh, wait. What does this mean? Oh, pipes! Pipes, pipes, pipes! I thought there were supposed to be pipes in that recipe, but I just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Someone else also told me in the comments. It might have been Jeremy, but I can't remember for sure. So whoever it was, thank you very much that um, the vending machine will tell me how many days till it restocks. And uh, 20 days, is this is this an actual, uh, oh, okay, yeah, so it restocks on day, oh, this has been restocked. Ooh, look at that, look at that. All right, um, well, let's not do anything with it right now, but now we know. 
Now we know. Honestly, I think that uh, you should only loot, be able to loot the vending machines once, with maybe the exception of the vending machine at the trader, because the trader, you know, could restock it if he has new supplies come in. But vending machines out in the world, you know, I mean, who's come, who's going to come along and restock those? Is there like a, a a zombie delivery man that comes along and restocks them? I mean, you know what I'm saying? So it's just super unrealistic. All right, you're going to need a third application. Let's just give it to you now. Let's give you yours. How in the hell did it get to be noon already? We just started. What the hell, man? Okay, you dead. Ooh, nice. You dropped a bag for us. All right, he should be going down too. This is actually quite useful to be able to see the, the damage thing me doodles on the zombos. That bleed is like nasty, man. Love it. Okay, what do we have in here? How about a hammer? Ah, that's not a hammer. Okay. Now, let's go back in here. We had to fight those guys because otherwise they would have been a pain in, their, pain in our ass. Craft those up. And, uh, yeah, I think we're good. We're probably going to have to do... I hear footsteps out here. We're probably going to have to do the wheels in the workbench, too, I'll bet. Let's take a look. Wheel. Craft in the workbench. Okay, yeah. But we've got to find rubber, too. So um, we probably... All we have to do, I'm guessing, is just apply the axe to some tires. And we get plastic and uh, um, and rubber from that. So let's just go find all the tires and harvest them up. Because, yeah, so one bleed application on a 250 hit point zombo takes them down to about 40% health if you let it run all the way down. It's good to know. It's good to know. So we need the tires. We need all the tires. All the tires in the world. It'll be kind of nice to get out of this town. We've been in this town ever since we started this series. Um, but I've never wanted to leave it on foot, you know. Here, we might as well grab this while it's here. Okay, how are we doing? We need a total of 20-something or other. We have 14. 27, I think, is was the magic number that we needed. All right. Your health is down to about 25 to 30%. Oh, she's only a 225 hit point, Zombo. Steve was a 250. Okay. I didn't realize there was a slight difference in their health, but apparently there is. Okay, are you... You're a 250. Okay, so Skater Punk has 25 more hit points than Darlene does. But you still only need two bleed applications to kill him, though. Quit running. And I, and I count that it... And you need to let them bleed out five, at least five times before you hit them the second time. And then that, then that should kill them. Okay, let's get you. Let's get you. Now, Edgar... Edgar's going to have... How many hit points are you going to have? He's got 350. Okay. So, yeah, he's a little tougher. And he's going to require three applications. You're a 325 hit point, so you're a little less than Edgar, but still tougher than most of them. This one always seems to enrage more than the others. I don't know. It probably does it. It just kind of seems that way. I wouldn't bet money on that, but it, again, just kind of seems like it. I really like the pitchfork in this mod. It's essentially just a spear, but I don't know. It just has a 
It feels very appropriate for sticking it down zombie throats, you know? Okay. Now, let's uh, get some stand back. We might as well finish killing these guys. XP for us, that sort of thing. Ronnie McDonald, I'll give you a bleed app. And how are you doing? A bleed app? That sounds like something you'll download on your phone. <laughs> hey, did you guys get the latest bleed app? You're going to want it when you play Seven Days to Die. Okay. You die. Now, where are you at? All right, you're dead now, too. Okay, so continuing the search for tires. We are going to have ourselves a mini bike by the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to happen. Absolutely going to happen. Whether or not we have any gas to put in it, that's a different story, but we're going to at least have the mini bike. <laughs> we got to find some gas pumps, man. Um, we need to do that for the other quest anyway. All right. At least there's plenty of tires all over the place. All right. We need 27. How much do we have? We have 22. So five more. Five more to go. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's go this way. Can I get gas out of here? Ooh. All right. Hold on. Let's, let's, um, oh, that damn thing wants me to place the insect trap again. All right. Well, we'll do that after we get the first batch of them. I just now realized that. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's go to the gas, uh, war for gas. Make that the active quest. So we got the empty, but wants us to upgrade a gas pump. Hmm. Well, what if we, what if we do this? What if we take our gas cans? Can we just click on here? No, nope, that doesn't do anything. All right, well, let's just loot it then. And it doesn't have anything in it. That's not a gas. Okay, all right, well, let's just keep on keeping on here. Is this thing loaded? Yes, it is. I'm sure glad the people in this town decided to leave their... um. You know, their old tires sitting around all over on the street and stuff. It was very, very thoughtful of them to do that. That's a new POI. Or not not a vanilla POI. I, I don't think it is. Ooh, look at that. Landmine, maybe? 26! <laughs> one more to go, ladies and gentlemen. One more to go. Okay. We're just about there. Just about there. Guns. Ooh, we might have to go check that place out. Um, You'd think there's a... Yeah, there's going to be a tire in here. All right, that gets us uh, the quantity that we need. And um, I want to go in here. Oh, there's a deer. Uh, where's my rifle? Did he go inside the house? What? That Did the deer just neigh? Oh, no, he's right there. Okay, here. Let's see if we can get this deer. I don't know if I'm going to have enough punch with this rifle to take him down in one shot, but we'll see. Nice and sneaky. What in the world is he? Wait, what? Is that? <laughs> Dear, what are you doing? He went back in the house. Can we shoot a horse and have horse meat? I don't know. Are the horses actually something we can do something with? Okay, here we go. You've got to be kidding me. How in the hell did that miss? 
There we go. We got him. We also got the attention of some Zika Ruskies. All right, boys. You're just a 150. And oh man, these guys are super weak sauce. I didn't know they had such low health. That's like as low as Arlene health, maybe. Or lower. Does one bleed out kill them? Let's see. Oh, look, he's got one health left. Can you believe that? One freaking health left. He's got a little more than one. Wow, I had no idea those guys were so weak. Well, now we know, right? Now we know. Okay, let's go get our deer before he despawns. Um, do we have any kind of hunting quest that we're supposed to be doing? Bladed weapons training, kill zombie, catch insects, complete your journal. Duh, duh. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Is this like the first big game animal we've actually butchered in this playthrough? I think it is. I think I've killed a couple rabbits and chickens, but... All right. I've never seen any kind of a, of, of a mechanic in Seven Days to Die where you can ride anything. So I'm guessing this horse is supposed to be here for us to eat. Okay, we got some sneak damage off on him. Oh, he almost dead. There we go. Sorry, horse. Normally I wouldn't kill and eat horses, but, you know, this is the apocalypse after all, so... <laughs> Ronnie. We tagged you, bud. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more points into rifles. Um, we Well, we did about... Um, we did about 40% or so damage to him with that headshot. Considering we have zero points in marksmanship, that's not too bad. Um, that bleed will probably kill him. Ooh, there's a bunny. Yeah, don't hate me for killing the horse, guys. It's apocalypse. You know, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. All right. This hunting rifle's starting to pay off. Got lots of eggs back at the... Oh, shit. What the hell? I hear snakes and zombies. Uh, we got lots of eggs back at the ranch, so we'll be able to make a nice little batch of bacon and eggs with all this stuff. Here, let's get you... Okay, so we got rattlesnakes, we got Nurse Nancy's. Nurse Nancy's a 225 hit point. You are, what are you? You're a 140, okay. You're a 325. Man, I'm loving this hit point meter. I remember having this on Darkness Falls when I played it a couple years ago. Um, Did we have it on uh, Juarez? I can't remember. Maybe we did. I don't know. Okay. Nurse Nancy, you're running too fast. Uh, I want to kill that snake. That's more meat for us, too. You just about died with one application. You're a 250. You're also a modded Zombo. You're not a, a vanilla. Slow down. Infected neighbor. Okay, you did. Where are you at? Let's get you your second application. Nurse Nancy's down. All right, we want to kill this snake. Um, he's only got 25 hit points. He's like super weak, but he's kind of hard to hit though. <laughs> the Zombo is a. Uh... You know when uh, Fun Pimps first came out with these rattlesnakes in the game? This was a long time ago. Um. I got bit by one, and I was so disappointed that it didn't poison me. I mean, you know, come on, it's a rattlesnake. It just did normal damage. It's like, what the hell? I mean, how hard can it be for them to add, like, a little poison mechanic to the game? Um, you know, make it do just the same exact thing the bleed does, but call it poison. And maybe instead of, you know, blood squirting out, you get some kind of a green aura or something around you to indicate your poison. It would not be that hard to implement. 
they could even use like the irradiated mechanic, but just tone it down a little bit because the irradiated mechanic is just brutal. Yeah, are you gonna die, Nurse Nancy, or are we gonna need to bleed you up again? Actually, let's not bleed you up. Let's just do that. There we go. All right, Arlene, you have pretty low hit points. Oh, you got 225. You got more hit points than I thought you did. This is very educational today, ladies and gentlemen. The janitor is like super weak. I had no idea he was that weak. Arlene's tougher than I thought she was. Okay, anyway, let's um let's kill her off. And then we need to get back and get our wheels made. Let's make sure she doesn't drop a bag when she keels over here. No, she didn't. Okay. I don't even know if there are any gas pumps in this town. There, there is there. I don't know. There probably is. Let's let's kind of start keeping an eye out for that. I haven't really been paying attention to it because it's not been on our radar, but it is now. Um. So yeah, we need to see if we can find a gas pump somewhere. Do I still have Lutskis in these? Oh, in here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll grab that stuff. Makes us a little heavy, but we can handle it. We can handle it. All right, guys, so... um. Let's actually try something here. We got the, this red meat that we got from hunting. Um, and let's also grab this, too. Uh, we, sh we should be able to make some jerky uh, with this. So it requires seven red meat and salt. Um, and so, yeah, we can only craft one. And that just gives us two. So two for seven. <laughs> Love that exchange, man. I'll tell you what. Apparently in this mod, you can only make bacon and eggs with white meat. So I'm, I'm assuming they're considering that pork. It does kind of look like pork. Uh, but that means we can make at least one thing of bacon and eggs. So that's good. That's good. It's nice that food is no longer a major dilemma for us. It was for such a long time, but it no longer is. So yeah, there you go. Okay, so we'll let that jerky cook up. Um, let's grab the bacon and eggs and let's just eat it right now because, you know, as much as the fish has helped us out, I'm a little bit tired of eating fish all the time. So, mm -mm. let's have some bacon and eggs. And we're going to also drink a red tea. Put the glass in there, or the jar rather. Okay, let's grab all of this stuff. And we're going to run back down and we got to get the wheels made and then we can make the mini bike. Uh, one other thing. Do I have actual gasoline in here? I do. It's not very much. Not very much at all, but it's a start. It's a start. The next biggest thing now is going to be gasoline, of course. And, you know, we have, we have a wrench that's over 100 durability that we found in the last episode and we can repair it because of the fact that it is over 100 durability so probably our best bet for getting gasoline is going to be wrenching cars plus we'll get a bunch of other good stuff too okay so we need two wheels let's get those crafted it'll take a little over a minute and then we can craft the mini bike itself hallelujah okay um while we're waiting for that let's just go Kill a couple Zeke's, get a few more XP points. Oil. Hmm. I'll bet you there's gas in there. Or at least some oil shale, if I if that's the POI I think it is. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's oil shale. What we need, though, of course, is a chemistry bench to process it, and who knows what this mod actually requires to do so. Uh, but the shale's there, and oh, those are empty. I've already been in here long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. 
Okay, well, I don't know, maybe we should just leave that there for the moment. I would like to see, though... Yeah, come here, Nurse Nancy. Let's at least grab one piece of it and then look at what the recipe requirement is. So gas can requires the chem bench and then oil shale and the gas can itself. It does seem to indicate, though, that we can do it because this is not showing it locked. It shows it white. Hmm. What do we need for a chem bench? It's chemistry, right? Chemistry station. Okay, it, the chemistry sh uh, station itself is locked. But if we put points into, I think it said physician. Oh, we're going to need a beaker and all that stuff. I think, did we find a Bunsen burner? I don't remember. Hmm. We need to make this uh, the the um, research desk too. Is that something we can make now? Reese Reese Turch. Nope, that's locked. Also, of course it is. Okay. All right. Well, let's go get the mini bike going. We haven't found a what in the world? Ah. That's, it's not, what? It, it, what? There. Weird. Uh, okay. We haven't found a, a working camp bench anywhere, have we? I don't think we have. I don't remember off the top of my head if we have. Look at that. We're going to have a mini bike in a minute or so. Woohoo! Hot damn. We got a little bit of oil shell, but we can't throw a damn thing with it. So, I think the, the plan is going to be... Did he, any chance this guy had a working cam bench? I just don't remember. It's been such a long time since we looked. Let's go check again. And, uh, you know, just see if he does. I don't think he does because I probably would remember it. But, hey, we're talking about me here. So. Okay. So if he has a cam bench, I think. Is it over on this side? Seriously? Dudes, look at this. Look at this. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> All right. We probably noticed it on like day one and I was I thought to myself, well, it's going to be a long time before we're going to be able to use that. So, you know, I just forgot about it. Oh, man, that is great news. That is such good news. All right, let's go back to the oil place and grab up all that shale and make ourselves some gasoline. Um, unless, you know, something else is going to prevent us from doing it. Okay, let's get all this. All right, let's go grab our bike. <laughs> Look at that. It's awesome. All right, now we're going to go back over to the trader. And in fact, we should have enough gas to, to ride this sucker over there. Twelve percent gas. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, this is awesome, you guys. This is the best thing that's happened to us since we started playing Raveners. Absolute best thing that's happened to us. Oh, so nice. We're going to go on a road trip on the next episode. That is the plan, Stan. All right, let's close that. Uh, oh, you know what? We're going to need fuel. Uh, let's see. Can we just bust up a boulder? I don't want to really use my wood. Oh, that's an iron deposit. Okay, that's good to know that that's there. Um, 
I just want to get a little bit of coal. We need to find a boulder. There's a boulder over there. Okay, note to self, there's an iron deposit on the other side of the trader for future reference. Okay, uh, we snagged a little bit of coal, not a whole bunch, but enough, I think, to get us going. Uh, we have oil shale, and we have empty gas cans, and we need to turn it on, and we still can't make it. Oh, we need 500 oil. Oh, my God. Really? Okay, hold on. Turn that off. That's what the problem is. <laughs> we need 500 of this shit just to make... Holy crap, that's expensive. Okay. All right, I'm with you now. Under uh, th uh, Thumplerite? What the hell? Gas can, pallet of gasoline. All right, well, that's the problem. And it's true, we don't have enough. We only got 176 out of that whole thing. We need 500, and that means we got to find a desert, ladies and gentlemen. We have got to find ourselves a desert. Plus, we looks like we already know this anyway. Because the book is showing open there. <sighs> okay. Well, that's all right. I mean, our our backup plan is to wrench as many cars as we can. And, you know, we need to... We're only going to be able to do that for a little while. Both because there's only so many cars, but more importantly, um, you know, we don't have a ton of wrenches to do that with, you know. So... But it's what we can do right now. So I think what we're going to do is uh, let's go grab a, there's another horse over there we could shoot in the head. It's terrible, isn't it? Still feel bad about that. All right. Anyway, let's see. Um, let's grab this wrench here. And we need to be able to make ourselves a, a repair kit which I think we can just do over here. Advanced, no, not advanced repair kit. We just need a normal repair kit right here. Okay. Um, so we need two iron, duct tape, twine, two leather. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this wrench until it completely breaks, and then, we can, then it's done. Um... I could put it in the forge and get some iron from it, but I think I'll just use it up. Then we'll use this one up until it's almost broken, and then we'll repair it, which will drop it below 100, but then we'll get, you know, one more cycle of use out of it before it also becomes worthless to us. And then after that, you know, we are without a wrench again. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think overall, though, guys, this has been a fantastic episode. We made really good progress. Did I just put something here that's not supposed to be in here? I probably did. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't see it. Um, but, yeah, it's been a great episode. We got our mini bike now. Now, of course, the challenge is going to be fuel for the mini bike. And um, so I'm going to wrench cars to get more gas for now. And we might need to plan on a road trip. Uh, maybe in the next episode, if I can get enough gas and go find a desert so that we can mine up the oil shale because uh, we, sh we should be able to make our own gasoline. It's just that we need 500 oil shale just to make one uh, thing of it. And I don't know, you know what the quantity of one thing is, but it damn well better be a lot for that much oil shale. Okay? Uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. I'm just going to spend the rest of today. Um, I only have one hour left. Wrenching a few cars. And then... Um, uh, we will start the next episode, and hopefully, like I said, we'll have enough gasoline to go on a road trip and uh, go from there. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Get that there, and let's get some gas. See ya.